Every week, there's a new AI coding assessment. Cursor, Winsor, Claude Code, Codex, and they all promise the same thing. But most of them basically do this. You type a prompt, one model thinks about it, writes some code, and waits for the next instruction. But today's video is about something that behaves completely differently. And it's called anti-gravity. It's Google's new agentic IDE, and it doesn't feel like one assistant. It feels like a small engineering team living inside your editor. So here's the plan. We break down what an agentic IDE actually is and why anti-gravity isn't just cursor with a new logo. And then we'll build a full 3D prototype tool with it start to finish. So let's do it. So what actually is an agentic IDE? In most tools today, everything is linear. One chat window, one model, and one long reply. That's it. You ask it to scaffold a project, and it does that. You ask it to wire an API, and it does that. You ask it to fix a bug, and it does that. Helpful, but still, one flow, one brain. Anti-gravity, on the other hand, works completely differently. It gives you three surfaces that work together. The first one is the agent manager. So think of this as mission control. You see all your agents, all your workspaces, every task that they're done. You can start with a new task, pause one, inspect what it's thinking, and then let it run in the background while you do something else. Next is the editor. This looks like a normal editor. Tabs, autocomplete, file tree, but the agent is sitting inside it. It watches the whole code base and jumps in whenever you ask. Refactors, migrations, fixing half-written functions, everything. And then we come to the browser. Now this is the best part. Anti-gravity can spawn a real browser and control it. It can scroll, click, type, submit forms, and record everything. So, test my feature literally means that the agent opens your application, interacts with it, and reports back. So this means no more screenshots, no more debugging monologues, no more begging an LLM to understand the context. And you choose how much control it gets. You've got three modes. The first one is agent proceeds, agent decides, you decide. For this video, we're going to be using Agent Proceeds. And that means the IDE goes ahead on most decisions unless something really needs approval. So instead of micromanaging every small action, you're guiding the strategy while it handles the grunt work. Let's talk about the unfair advantage. Anti-gravity is free right now, and Google can afford to burn the money. And it shows. Most coding agents give you tiny context windows, rate limits, or $20 paywalls. And we're all sick of that. But anti-gravity gives you the best models from Google and Anthropic, plus an open source OpenAI model. The model stack that we like using is Gemini 3 for UI layout and front-end thinking. And the reason is Gemini thinks in components and grids. So it understands structure and aesthetics. Next, we use Opus 4.5, and this is our big brain backend tasks. So Opus is for refactors, architecture, large code bases with heavy logic. And just take a minute to think about this. Opus 4.5 for free inside your IDE. No other tool does that. It's the best model out there for everything coding and developers are already feeling the AGI with this. And anti-gravity treats models like teammates. So Gemini 3 is equal to your front-end or your design co-founder, while Opus 4.5 is your back-end systems architect, and anti-gravity is the project manager keeping everything aligned. Before we build, there's one last concept that we need to discuss, and that's artifacts. Anti-gravity doesn't reply in a chat thread. It leaves artifacts, actual working documents, task list, what it's doing, what's done, what's next, then an implementation plan. The spec it writes for itself before touching your code. Walk through a final report with screenshots, tests, logs, and a clean summary. So the loop is simple. You describe the task, the agent researches and proposes a plan, you skim, tweak, or approve, or just go ahead and it executes and returns a walkthrough. It feels way less like chatting with a bot and way more like reviewing a junior engineer's PR plus design doc. All right, so now let's actually build something. So for this demo, we're gonna build a 3D gesture controlled particle playground. The idea is simple. You stand in front of the camera, the app tracks both your hands and turns that tension into motion. Closing your hands scales and expands the 3D particle cloud in real time, and you pick a preset, whether it's hearts, flowers, Saturn, Buddha statue, fireworks. You tweak the particle color with a simple picker. It all lives in a clean, modern web UI. 
think live 3D visuals that you can control with your hands. This is perfect for performances, demos, or interactive art on a landing page, or if you want to feel like Iron Man from this scene. All right, so now I'm in anti-gravity, and if you're logging in for the first time, it walks you through a tiny onboarding. Okay, so now you can pick either light or dark mode. Sign in with your normal Google account. Okay, that's done. All right, on the left, you can see the workspace sidebar. This is where all your projects live. Okay, now I create a new workspace called 3D Showroom. We'll work locally, so I pick open folder, create a fresh folder on my machine, and link it. Okay, now anti gravity knows this directory is its playground. On the main screen, you can see the agent manager. Okay, so think of this as an inbox of tasks. All right, each card here is one agent doing something. We basically start a new conversation and tell it what we want and describe the app in one prompt. So here's a task that I'll give it. You are an expert web developer. Build a fully working web app in a single HTML file using 3.js and standard JavaScript. Do not use any build tools or external frameworks other than C, D, and Linux. Everything should be in one file so I can save it as index.html and run it directly in the browser. Let's discuss the goal. Okay, if you guys want to know the prompt that I'm using, we've put it all in a Notion doc and the link is in the description. So you can click on that and use the same prompt if you'd like. So I drop that into the chat, give it full access and send it to fast mode. I'm pretty sure it'll work and I don't have to do anything, but it'll take some time. So let's see what it does. Insane. Okay, and it starts working. No follow-up questions, just straight into the repo. Okay, the agent opens up the editor window automatically. Tabs are on the left, file tree ready. Preview waiting. We can see the breadcrumbs of its thought process, insane. Okay, this is the part that feels alien, but in the best way. The agent isn't talking to me, man. It's, it's, it's literally working. For a few minutes, it's writing code, reshuffling functions, structuring all the utilities, pulling CDN links, checking browser compact. Oh my God. Stitching media pipes, hand model into our main loop and generating particle templates from scratch. This is insane, man. And I'm literally watching the file update line by line. And the index.html goes from empty to scaffold to full application. Okay, scroll through the HTML file. Okay, it's massive, but it's beautiful. A single document where everything is wired together. Insane. Over here, we have 3.js scene, share-free particles, gesture interpreter, media pipe integration, UI panel, color controls, template mapping, smooth transitions, render loop, fallback states. Oh my God. No scaffolding, no to-dos, no broken imports, no dependency help, man. This is insane. Just a working 3D product. And all of this with me doing basically nothing except writing a great prompt. And again, if you want that prompt, please check the link in the description. All right, now this is the point where anti-gravity stops being interesting and starts feeling like a cheat code. And it works exactly the way we described it. If you've ever built a 3D interactive experience manually, you know this would normally take like days of research, hours of fiddling with media pipe, debugging particle math, handling device permissions, tuning UI values, endless CSS. I mean, endless, like why is this canvas blurry moments? But with anti-gravity, conversation, plan, execution, test, and you're done. And you didn't even have to touch a build tool. So here's the thing. Everyone will say that this is just another coding agent. But once you feel the browser testing and see the artifacts form and watch multiple agents work in parallel and run Gemini plus Opus inside the same environment, you'll realize something. We're not in autocomplete land anymore. We're in small virtual engineering team land. Now this is just version one. So that's your first look at anti-gravity and a full build of a 3D showroom using it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a cool idea that you want us to try and build using anti-gravity, drop it in the comments and we'll pick the best comment and try to turn it into the next build. And until then, keep building and keep experimenting.